uh, I showed how to schedule a uh, Lambda function using a uh, cloud watch event events. Uh, now in this video, uh, I will show how to uh, enable, disable, and delete uh, the scheduling. So here uh, we see this uh, Lambda function is uh, scheduled right using the cloud watch event. If you click the cloud watch event, uh, which is trigger, you will see the information of the cloud watch event. Uh, it is scheduled every minute. You will see the more information here, right? The details and uh, and here to the right, you will see the enable or delete. If you want to disable it, just click this one. Right? It's disabled, but you do not remember. Uh, remember to save it so that this will be disabled. Okay, and you will not see the any login in the uh, more if we click monitoring you will see no more see it's dropped down there no more login here I right, disabled okay um, that is is yeah we can see there's no more retry okay and uh, we wait one minute okay this uh, this is uh, 53 right it's, it is now 55 we wait and uh, okay, we go there to let's in, enable it again okay enable it and remember to click save to make it uh, effective then we go to the the login and we'll retry see it's coming uh, Okay, we go to the to pick the latest one. Is this the latest one? Okay, you can see the fifty three, right? Okay, that comes fifty four, right? That comes. Okay, when we enabled it, comes back. Okay, the next one is that we you can see there is enable, disable, try it, and there are the delete. Okay, when we click delete which will remove this uh, trigger is cloud watch event trigger which is uh, to schedule uh, this uh, lambda function you click the save then this will be gone and you will no longer to receive the login uh, it is basically the lambda function will not be scheduled be triggered